so uh, Rookie Boy mentioned that he's been here a year. A year. That's, that would never happen. And, and here's the important part. He was here for a year continuously. So the party is over, you e-begging grifters. You homeless losers. It's time to pack your trash. And if the, if the grifters and e-beggars that last, left last year were smarter than you, and it does start on a calendar year, well, it'll be a while before you get back. It's, uh, the party's over, Sam. Party's over. So I'm happy about that. That's, that's good news. The grifting, e-begging YouTubers are, are uh, going to have to pack their shit. They've been here too long. That's not too smart, but, you know, it's over, Sam. It's over. It's over. These guys are going to have to re rearrange their lives like that. Now, not that that can't happen to me as an expat, but these e-beggars, these nomad beggars, these e-nomad e-beggars, um, yeah, they're, they're, they've been living on borrowed time of the Okay guys, that is a lot to pack away. That's a lot to pack away. So uh, if I'm gonna get through this, I'm gonna need some coffee. I'm gonna go into my local little um, coffee shop here. It's on the grounds of base condo. So very, very convenient. Let's go back to the condo and let's get stuck into this. Talk to you soon guys. Saudi cap everybody, it's Nile and Thailand here. So is anything that was just said there accurate or correct? <laughs> no. <laughs> like yeah, uh, I you know look, I don't I don't understand why anyone goes to this guy for news. Like you know, if you think this guy knows what he's talking about, then you need to have your head examined. Like you know, I don't I can't remember anything he's been right about like ever in, in whatever it's been six years. But anyway, let's get into it. So um, I'm going to include my sources here in this video. So um, I did hear from the tiger that the. COVID extensions have been approved again for another round. So long as you apply before March 25th, you are eligible for another extension, another extension under COVID, um, you know, amnesty rules. Now, that's not to say that you'll get it. Like, you know, it's completely at the discretion of the immigration officer that you're dealing with. They may decide to give you one, they may decide not to. It really is down to them. But um, this, you know, they've, they've been doing this pretty much the last three or four times. Like, you know, so it's like, it was supposed to end in November, November 26, I think it was, and um, they extended it again until the 25th of January. Then 25th of January has come and gone, and then they've extended it again now until the 25th of March. So uh, this seems to be a, like it's a common thing now. Now this is the first one where they've actually changed the rules a little bit. So uh, you know, if you if you came here on and you got a visa on arrival, you're not eligible for a COVID visa. So it's only if you came here and you got a T or like a 60 day T or visa to begin with. So uh, to come over here under those, um, you know, on that visa, you would also have need to have gotten a certificate of entry. So, um, you know, you need to apply to your Thai embassy in whatever country you're, you're um, coming from. So I had to apply through London and the London embassy required that I show them that I have proof of a minimum of 3,700 euros in savings. So. Once I was able to show them that, they were like, okay, you know, you're fine. So, um, you know, under that situation, I am eligible to apply for another COVID visa. So that's what I, exactly what I intend to do. Now I might not get it. You know, it's really, like I said, it's at the discretion of the immigration officer. But to suggest that it's over and, you know, it's just, it's, it's finished is not accurate information. So um, let's just put that out for, there, first of all. Um, yes these things might very well be coming to an end pretty soon. But that doesn't mean that the concept of living here as a digital nomad, as a digital nomad, is coming to an end because it's basically being replaced by a different system. So um, I'm gonna put the article here, like uh, the, the article from the Tiger I read it on, and that comes from legitimate sources like um, So there has been a proposal for four new different types of visas. And it uh, seems that the, uh, the tourist authority of Thailand they're trying to um, they're trying to attract affluent um, people to come over. So that's basically anyone that's you know you're not retirement age just yet, but you know you might have enough money to stay here you know indefinitely. You know what I mean? Whatever your situation might be, you could be retired young. You know, maybe you don't need to work for whatever reason, or maybe you know 
you have you know a residual income whatever the case may be if you um want to live in thailand and you don't need to work and you can prove that you have you know sufficient um savings or income they want you to stay so there is a 10-year visa that's uh that's valid for yourself if you are um interested in investing in thailand so you're interested in starting up a business or something like that and uh, or buying property even they also want you to come over so there's also a 10-year uh, visa incentive for yourself and the one that applies to me and to other digital nomads is a digital nomad visa i don't think it's called a digital nomad visa but essentially that's what it is they're trying to uh, i think it's called a professional visa or something like that they are trying to attract working professionals to come to thailand and uh, if you can earn your money online and you can show that you have an annual income of a minimum of forty thousand dollars and it has to be for the previous two years so you have to show that you've earned eighty thousand dollars or more over the last two years then you know you can also apply for this 10-year visa the rules of this visa are that you only need to report once a year so it's not reporting every 90 days like you do with the retirement visa once a year you go to immigration office you just report you say you know whatever your situation is where you're living all that kind of stuff do your your tm30 all that kind of stuff and then you just go on about your life for the next 12 months then you come back again so it's sounds like a pretty sweet deal i gotta say it's uh cost ten thousand baht a year also when i was doing uh border runs to lao i was spending on average twelve thousand baht like all things included it's the cost of flights the cost of hotels the cost of the visa when you get there you know um just staying there for two days like food all that kind of stuff so uh taxis everything i remember doing in italian at one time was about twelve thousand baht so for one year you're, it's cheaper and it's a hell of a lot more efficient than going to do a border run which only gets you 60 days so uh I gotta say this sounds like a really sweet deal and this sounds like something that is exactly what people in my uh situation have been waiting for so this concept that it's all over it's all coming to an end uh, you know the uh the gravy train is coming off the rails it could not be further from the truth none of that's correct none of that's accurate like you know just because they're getting rid of something they are replacing it with something else you know what i mean it doesn't mean anything is coming to an end so um again i can't stress this enough i've been saying this for three years now check your sources like you know this guy is not a legitimate source for anything i i know i think he actually likes misinforming people so um you know if he says something and it worries you a little bit by all means just check it out to be honest that's what, exactly what i did today like you know i i was pretty sure that it wasn't accurate but I checked it out anyway. I, I actually signed up to a, um, a visa advice center. So there's a lady here that posted a, a um, she posted on the 5th of February. I won't tell you her name, but I will just say uh, her post says, uh, we went to Pana immigration yesterday, which would have been Friday. Uh, our visa history, 60 days from arrival. So she got a TR visa when she arrived. 30 days extension. That's your first extension is always 30 days. And then her, her first COVID extension was um, was approved. So she says, oh, I got 60 days. So that was from last Friday, the 4th of February. So that's a week and a half after the previous deadline date. So if they didn't renew that, um, she wouldn't have gotten her visa. She would have been asked to, to leave the country. So obviously they did approve the extension of a further COVID visa. So um, that's the situation here, guys. Like if you are here, like myself, on a... Um, you know a covid extension visa so long as you came here on your tr visa a 60 day visa which you required a certificate of entry for you can apply for a further 60 days before march 25th um if you came here with a visa on arrival i you know look at i don't make the rules you know the rules are the rules but you know you're not apparently you're not eligible to apply for another covid extension visa okay guys uh, i leave this here i will uh, chat you all soon cheers